Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Tower of Fantasy and this time we're going to be uh, discussing the recent update patch or the patch notes that they have released for the Vera update tomorrow. Alright, so this is it. Server maintenance announcement, let's make it bigger. Dear Wonders, thank you for supporting Tower of Fantasy, it will go to maintenance etc. So the maintenance is three hours. We suggest that you get ready to log off before the updating commences. Okay. Um, for PC, uh, it will be restarting after the client. For mobile, uh, you have to download the update patch. Updated content in the 2.0 Vera version. So, of course, the new map of Vera sector, including Cyberpunk City, such as Miroria and Gray Space areas. Adding a function that makes you you makes you can skip Esperia to start Vera. Oh, that's new. All right. New story: Land of Sand. New simulacrum: Ruby and Ruby's Matrix. Level cap is increased to eighty with corresponding rewards. New equipment unlocked the, with the combat engine. Uh, new instances, including the End Game and Sadness Valley. Oh, this is going to be more grindy <laughs> they are uh, more difficult levels available for instance and the raid dimension let's take it down dimensional trials six and space time domain six what are this oh for the 30 energy okay the 30 vitality content wormhole level 75 available reward items for some instances are adjusted New outfit system for Mia because Mia is going to be able to follow you. You can activate that after this patch and they have new outfit for Mia. I hope they going to give us new outfit too. Character sex change a card available in stores and we're also going to get one free character sex change. Okay. New event called a fresh start for players entering a server that has been up for 30 days and created a new character. Special event called Stellar Way Restart for lapsed, such as us, lapsed players. Support rewards and stores available for new players that participate in team ups. Okay, that's nice. Um, I, I do hope they, you know, add more stuff there. New daily Veron Bounty vish missions. What is that? Veron Bounty. Okay, daily min missions. Um, new daily bounty missions available for Vera. You can choose to finish the missions in either. Oh, you can only finish, uh, you know, still four bounty missions, right? But they added more for Vera. Issues fixed. Okay, there are bugs fixed. Increased rewards for purple crystal dust and orange crystal dust in some battles. Such as what? Such as uh, the reward for using vitality or from those, uh, you know, portals, yellow portals. Optimize the method to guide wanderers in missions for level before 40. Included the dodge effect description for the flaming revolver 6 skill description. Oh, it was just not on the description. They just added it. I don't, I'm not sure though if it was just added or in, in the description and it was already, you know, available before or they just added it now. Fix the condition that unleashes the Terminator discharge attack. As if a lot of people are using Terminator. Uh, controller related updates. Optimize UX and UI on some pages. Optimize certain model performance issues. Optimize mistranslations and localizations issues. Optimize difficult levels for some raids oh my goodness they're gonna hype up the level or or they're just gonna add i know they're gonna add a hard level for raids are they gonna make the normals easier or harder <laughs> okay anyway optimize weekly dark crystals reward for sequential phantasm optimize boss respawn time and rewards of the artificial island oh my god I think this is this is this just means they're going to lower the uh, respawn time. It used to be like around three days, right? Now it's going to be daily. I think I'm not sure. 
optimized weekly activity missions and rewards and the weekly activity progress and rewards will be reset after the update this is what we are talking about on the previous video because uh for those of you who don't know the background story a lot of people are uh, are you know pushing or gi giving a guide or tip to the players not to claim the weekly activity rewards or the progress rewards because it's going to be changed and if you already claimed it for the week you won't be able to claim the new rewards from vera but they're going to uh they, they already said it here they are going to reset the rewards so if they reset the rewards you can claim and you must claim the rewards now you must claim the rewards for the weekly uh progress activities for the compensation oh we have a lot of compensations um maintenance compensation dark crystal 300 okay bug fixes 300 again client update 200 so that's already 800 and 100 here weekly reset comp oh 900 dark crystals this this has to be the highest highest compensation so far so as as what i've told you guys we have a sex change com uh sex change card instances crystal dust adjustment compensation oh we have additional vitality we want this i really want this three vitality solutions and one space orientator for raid compensation so just in case you have already done your raid it's going to be uh it's also going to be reset so this means that if you did not do your raids now you're only you're, you can do two raid hard raids for the vera after the vera if you have already done the raid here the normal raid this week then you can still do the hard raid on vera after the vera patch okay okay so luckily nobody was willing to help when i was you know uh, i was looking for helpers in the raid raid uh, fast run but we already have that was already like around two in the morning so pr people are probably uh, asleep by that time so that's it compensation eligibility players who have reached level six before maintenance is completed so if you are planning to use this for a reset or a reset character then you must get level six before the maintenance before the maintenance Please, Kali, check your mail for uh, the compensation. All right. So I think that's it. Quite huge, in my opinion. This is a quite huge patch and quite huge compensation. At the same time, a lot of things to do tomorrow after the patch. So I think that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.